Danielle. It's Melanie from Melanie and Home Life. So I am in my car just uh, driving to pick my husband up. So I wanted to do a jump on, do a quick vlog and uh, have a conversation with all y'all. So keep watching. I want to talk about online grocery ordering. So with COVID-19 going on, I'm sure Everybody has been utilizing the online grocery shopping service, and I know I sure have been. Um, I've been wallbarding it up like nobody's business. Um, so I want to talk about um, using different apps. So I don't know how anybody else shops. I meal plan before I shop, so I do like a reverse list. I usually go through my freezer and see what I have and go through my pantry and see what I have and then I just usually replenish and replace and, and I always meal plan from what I have and then go from there. So I don't know how everybody else does it but that's how I do it. So it's really easy to kind of get caught in that. Like it's easy to say okay well this is what we have I'm going to order this and then it is a little bit of an undertaking because you have to rotate your entire fridge and freezer which is fine. I mean I don't mind doing that because then you're kind of aware of what you have. But at this video, I'm going off on a tangent, so I want to just stop my tangent. Uh, this video is about, uh, I want to just talk about the two apps that I've been using to get groceries. And I also want to talk about some different apps. And I'm hoping that having this conversation, you know, I'm going to get some comments below about the apps that other people are using, and then I can look into them and I can talk about them as well. So first app that I use is Walmart. Um, I'm not a huge fan because I'm really, really into shopping local and I had been trying to buy my groceries at the local grocery store right behind my house. The problem is, is one, I was going into the store once a week, which was fine, but my grocery bill went up by uh, like, about, I'm going to say 30 to 50% because it, I don't want to say the name of the store, but it, it was everything was super expensive. So that store is there typically for ice cream and stuff like that. So it's a smaller grocery store. I I still go like if I needed something in turn, but I'm not going there. Uh, one, it's not cost effective. And two, there's not enough social distancing happening there. I, there are kids and moms and not judging, so not judging. Um, but it just, it, I don't want to go into the store. That's just who I am. So, the, as far as the pick and pay and somebody else grocery shopping for me, at first I was like, eh, I like to pick my own apples and I get it. Um, so I decided that I would try Walmart. I started using Walmart a while ago and I would just do it intermittently. Like, when I was leaving work and I needed a bunch of stuff, I would, I would do that. But it just didn't, I don't know. So, I, I do have good luck with the Walmart app, although I'm not a huge fan of what they substitute. Um, so there isn't, uh, when you're grocery shopping, you do your list. Um, you do have to have a $50 order or larger in order to keep your time slot, which is fine. So first of all, you're booking your time slot, you're putting in your order, and then they go on, and I use my debit card for it, um, and they withdraw the, the money out of your account. Now you can add to that order up until the night before, which is phenomenal. I, I like that aspect of it. So they don't usually bill me until the day that, like, if there's additions, they don't usually bill me until the day I pick up my groceries, and it's usually after I pick up my groceries, but not a big deal. Um, and I'm not saying they, like, I may be totally wrong in it. I always have the money in my account anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of the substitutions that they provide. So I decided to give PC Express uh, a try. And with PC Express, it was very convenient um, booking the time slot. The only problem is because of COVID, obviously, you're booking sometimes seven or 10 days for a time slot. With Walmart, you can only book a week in advance. You can go out 10, 12 days. So that's, that's the nice thing about PC Express. And you do have to have, I think it's $30. I believe it's a $30 minimum for them to do your grocery shopping. So I like grocery shopping at the Superstore um, since 
since I've moved to this area, I've sort of gravitated to that. Superstore does price match, and you can actually still price match even in this time on it. You just have to go to the contact us portion and submit what you need to price match. Um, the only issue I have with it is um, yesterday I had went online because that was sort of do or die day. So 48 hours before your order, that's what you have. So when I went on, it said I had until midnight to add to my order. So I went on last night at like 8.30 to modify my order. My order was being prepared, so that's no problem. Um, but I still had to change things and add things to the list. And uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't modify it. So I called the 1-800 number for customer service. Um, first of all, you know, not a big deal. I got hung up on. It happens, not even remotely upset about that. But then when I called back and I actually got somebody, the conversation was really, um, I can't do anything about that. Like I can't modify your order. Then it was, I can cancel your order, but then you lose your time spot. And then I was back to what came first, the chicken or the egg. I wouldn't be able to get another time slot for another seven days because they're busy and I get it. That's why I booked this time slot 10, 10 days ago. So. You actually have to call the store to modify your order at this like after that 48 hour now again I have no issue with that um, I'm all a very big proponent of time management I would have taken the time yesterday afternoon to sit and um, went through my order as opposed to waiting till last night but that the it did indicate that I had until midnight so so I wasn't a huge fan of that I was also not a huge fan of the fact that they couldn't or, well, they could cancel. It was a series of emails. So it was like a, it was like an IT ticket. They would have to open the ticket, and I would have to watch and see that it was canceled. Again, not a big to do, but um, it just seems like a lot of rigmarole. That being said, you know, um, when you pull up to get your groceries from the superstore or the, the PC brand, I'll say. The nice part about all of that is that when they bring it out, they put it in your car. It's zero contact. You can pay by debit as they're putting it into your car. It's very, very convenient. Um, I personally, other than that little glitch, I very much enjoy the PC Express app. Um, it is. It can be a little slow and laggy, but it is what it is. So going back to the Walmart app, um, like I said, uh, Walmart is is really convenient because you can add up until the night before, like till midnight the night before. And um, the only thing I, I dislike about Walmart is the substitution. So, you know, again, it is what it is. You get what you get. I understand that. But, you know, if you can't, and I didn't realize this until, you know, four orders in, you can click off no substitution. But then you don't get any notifications until you picked up your groceries that they didn't have those things. So there, there was an opportunity, like, there's no opportunity to, to make a change to your order if they don't have it. And I understand it is what they have in store. It's, it's just sort of wonky. But anyhow, I personally have to say that I do like, um, if I had to pick one or over the other, I think they're both so similar a big deal but I do think that the PC Express is a little more uh, a little more user friendly it is when you are picking up your groceries it is way more convenient at Walmart they do not put the groceries into your car they um, they bring them out and then you have to put them in your car again I can use the exercise so I'm not really worried about it but I just like the no contact thing um, I do want to say I, I, I'm looking for somebody that's tried the Costco online ordering and I know it's really just dry goods but uh, I'm interested to see you know hear some feedback about the Costco ordering I I have to say that I um, I do like going to Costco once a month and kind of filling up on the Costco things that I need and um, but I also find that I can get most of those things at the superstore and be pretty confident that I'm getting what I need. So I'm looking to hear how you shop. I want to hear something about Instacart. I've, 
I've not used it, um, but I'd like to know if anybody out there has used Instacart and what your experiences have been like. I know that I think it's uh, I think it's kind of interesting in a time of crisis that we we find these conveniences in life and so far like these shopping experiences have not been horrible and I have to say I'm probably saving without price matching I'm saving money because I'm not oh that's on sale let's buy 10 I'm buying just exactly what I need and I'm, I'm recalibrating my pantry appropriately instead of overwhelming it with 7 million salad dressings you all know who I'm talking about you guys all have seen that pantry and move my salad dressings so I am a condiment queen but again I feel like I am saving money and uh, it, did, it is what it is so I am going to continue using both apps I, like I said, I'm curious to find out what other people are using. I'm always willing to try something. And if you want me to try an app that you like, I would be more than happy to do that. Um, again, don't forget to click like, subscribe. Did you share? You should share. You should share this.